um, called Musical Crossword. And I got this idea from the amazing Tipa Snow. If you are not familiar with Tipa, as soon as you're done watching this, you should Google her, uh, look her up on YouTube. She is the dementia guru. She is amazing. Uh, she's actually the reason why I've gone into this. So um, I'm actually a certified independent trainer under her positive approach to care training philosophy. So um, this is a really fun thing to do because music is a huge connector, right? And it can make you feel really good things. And in a time when many of us are feeling like things are completely falling apart, this is a great way to feel connected. Uh, even when the conversational pieces might not be there anymore, for those of you who have a loved one with dementia. Um, one thing we know with all forms of dementia, the brain is attacked asymmetrically. For whatever reason, it's usually attacked on the left side first. So uh, the left is where the language and the logic is, which is why trying to reason with somebody uh, living with dementia can be a um, little, little tricky very early on. Um, the right side where the rhythm and the music is, is the most well-preserved, which is why uh, we might find people um, losing, you know, having word finding issues and things like that when they're speaking. But um, if you start humming a tune, they could catch on and start singing that right away. So using rhythm and music is really, really a good skill. Don't forget that. It's recommended to incorporate music and rhythm into your day at least twice a day. Um, so even getting up from the chair, you know, instead of just saying, hey, we need to get up and go do that. You know, think of all the things that happens when somebody has to get up from a chair. I have to tell myself I want to get up. I have to know that my feet need to be planted on the ground. I have to move my body. So it can be really complicated for somebody um, logically to think of that if that side of their brain is failing. However, if you're doing the whole one, two, three, okay, it might work out a little bit better for you. So back to the musical crossword. The idea of this is, um, especially if you know the person well and you know the songs that they like and that they know, um, is to use those. We've done this in our Staying Connected class a few times. And so I'm just using the songs from that time because I know that our people uh, loved them. So you can pick any song you want. It's good for you or whoever's creating it because this can be really tricky to try to work out um, in your own head and then to make all of the squares look like squares, which hopefully I've accomplished that um, whiteboard. So that can be tricky. So I will start singing a song and then I will stop. And the idea is, and again, this is where it's tricky doing this virtually, is usually um, you will stop and then the person will continue to sing that song and fill in the word. Now, um, it's really great to say, help me spell that, let's spell that together, and then you go through. So there's that cognitive fitness. And depending on the person is, they can even write it in. So there's a lot of good reasons to do this. This is really fun. I am hoping <laughs> that this has been constructed appropriately and effectively. So we'll see what happens. So again, this is a very dry run. This is just to show you guys what you can do with this. It's an option, especially for those people that are musical. So we're going to give it a go. All right. So we are going to start a crust. And all right. So it's this one right here, one across. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. Well, you ain't never caught a. If you know the word, you can definitely type it in. Join us. Um, so it's you ain't never caught a rabbit. So R A I T. All right. So two across, which is right here. So K Sara Sara. Whatever will be, will be. Right? So, A, B, C. All right. So 
So three across, which is up here. So I love you, a bushel and a peck, a bushel and a peck and a hug around the neck. Okay. All right, four across, right there. Uh, nothing you could say could tear me away from my guy. Why? And five across is right here. Tonight you're mine completely. You give me your love. So sweetly. So S W E E T L Y. And really encourage the help for the spelling. Um, and even if that's not a possibility, verbally saying it out loud is important. All right, 6A is right here. It had to be you. Mm -hmm. And the last one across is 7A over here. So this one is for Bev. If you are watching this, she's our Eddie Arnold fan. All right. So make the world go. Away. All right. So, really not that hard to do once you actually figure all this out. All right, and then we'll go down for those of you that are watching and taking part. All right, so um, let's see. One D is going down. I fell into a burning ring of. Right, and then two down right here is put your head on my shoulder, whisper in my ear, baby. And then three down is right up here. So, oh, right here, actually, I'm sorry. This land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York mm -hmm. Island. I-S-L-A-N-D. Four down is right here. So, in the still of the N-I-G-H-T. And then we've got five down. So we're going to revisit that last one because I know it's one of our uh, participants' favorites. Put your head on my... Mm -hmm. Okay. H-O-U-L-D-E-R. So it's really a fun little quick thing that you can do. Um, depending on um, who you're doing this with, you might be able to just use the same one over and over again. I can get some templates out if, if wanted. Um, the best thing for me to do is to think about songs that work for people. And then I just write down, you know, the very common chorus verses to it. And then I just try to plug stuff in from there, but everyone's got their own way of doing things. So hopefully this was at least a little bit entertaining for you and will give you some ideas. I've actually done this with my kids. Um, you can do a ginormous crossword puzzle full of Frozen 2 songs, FYI, it's very possible. Um, so this is just, it's a fun little brain jogger thing to do. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and um, let me know if you give it a try. I would love to hear your feedback. Bye guys.